Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences IAMMS Urdu Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences is a trust registered under the Indian Trusts Act 1882 Muhammad Hamid Ansari, former Vice Chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, formally inaugurated it on 21 April 2001. Department of Ayush, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India gave accreditation to the Academy in 2004 and promoted it as Centre of Excellence in 2008. Membership of the Academy is open to anyone who has an interest in the Academy's activities particularly on history of medicine and history of science. Being a charitable organization, donations to the Academy are also exempted from income tax under Section 80G of the Income Tax Act 1961. The founder-president is Hakim Syed Zilior Rahman. Ibn Sina Academy is a part of signatories related to various health issues in the world. History Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences is an extension of Majlis Ibn Sina, which was formed in 1965 under the aegis of Tibi Academy. Majlis Ibn Sina was a sort of monthly discussion group. For instance, the first meeting of that Majlis was held to discuss typhoid. Tibi Academy was itself formed in 1963 at Bhopal. In a note on page 4, of the first book of Tibi Academy, on modern times and Unani medicine the author Hakim Syed Zilior Rahman announced the establishment of Tibi Academy with its clear objective, to publicize the theoretical principles and practical ideas of Unani medicine, to publish the text of standard works of Unani medicine and also their translations, further, a learned and research-oriented monthly journal. From 1965 to 1970, a monthly journal with the title Al Hikmat in Urdu from Delhi was published under the auspices of Tibi Academy under the editorship of Syed Zilior Rahman Nadvi. The editor stated in the introduction of the first issue, May 1965, page 2, that the journal is being issued. Further, besides the above mentioned objectives, the editor listed a couple of additional objectives, e.g., the search of manuscripts of the Unani medicine, their edition and publication, to excite the feeling of the pressing need of Unani medicine literature, and to publish a standard book every year. He lamented that despite the publication of 30 to 40 Tibi magazines in India, no learned journal of Unani medicine is being published. He stressed that Al Hikmat would be a purely scholarly journal not confined to Unani medicine, it would include some articles on basic sciences, that is, zoology, botany, chemistry, physics, astronomy, and philosophy. In 1970, Hakim Syed Zilior Rahman renamed the Tibi Academy as Shif al Mulk Memorial Committee after his teacher, Shif al Mulk Hakim Abdul Latif, the 29th of April 1900 to the 14th of November 1970, former professor and principal of Ajmal Khan Tibia College, Aligarh Muslim University. The purpose of this memorial committee was the same as Tibi Academy formed in 1963, except the widened scope of publications. All these past establishments Tibi Academy 1963, Majlis ibn Sina 1965, and Shif al Mulk Memorial Committee 1970 merged and came under one trustee organization, i.e., Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences in 2000. It was formally inaugurated on 21 April 2001. Topic. Facilities Topic Hakim Zilior Rahman Library The library houses one of the most precious and valuable collection of 20,000 printed books, 500 manuscripts, some rare books, microfilms, compact discs and a large number of periodicals. Books in many languages like Arabic, Persian, Urdu, Sanskrit and English on subjects like history of medicine and sciences, Unani, medieval medicine, Ilmul Adviya, pharmacology, Urdu literature with special reference to Ghalib, Iqbal, Aligarh and Sir Syed Ahmad Khan, besides thousands of bound volumes of magazines are extant in this library. 
The library is listed in the Directory of History of Medicine Collections, United States Department of Health and Human Services, National Library of Medicine, NIH. Topic: <laughs> Hakim Karim Hussein Museum on History of Medicine and Sciences. Karim Hussain Museum on History of Medicine and Sciences is an academic unit with collections and exhibitions. The main theme is the history of health and disease in a cultural perspective, with focus on the material and iconographic culture of medieval medicine and sciences. The museum has categorically the illustrations and busts of physicians belonging to Mesopotamia, Babylonian, Egyptians, Greeks, Arab and Indian civilizations. In addition, medical manuscripts, catalogues, medical philately, medical souvenirs, memoirs of physicians including Nobel laureates, etc., are preserved and exhibited. The museum is listed in the World's Ten Weirdest Medical Museums, as per CNN Travel. <laughs> Hakim Fazlur Rahman Museum on Arts, Culture and Orientalism This museum is located on the second floor and has four main galleries. The Crockery Gallery has a large collection of Oriental and British India utensils, plates, bowls, tea set belong to many prominent personalities like Hakim Ajmal Khan, Nawab Yusuf Ali Khan, Kaikusrao Jahan, Begum of Bhopal, Sultan Shah Jahan, Begum of Bhopal, etc. The textile gallery consists of attires, garments, calico of gold and silver studded stones and many other oriental clothes. The picture gallery has pictures, drawings, watercolors, photographic print and paintings especially of people belong to Aligarh and Aligarh Muslim University. Miscellaneous gallery has many objects of coins, postage stamps, gemstones, engravings including vintage cameras, clocks, busts, pens, memoirs and relics of some prominent personalities. In the same gallery, there are separate family collections that belong to Professor Syed Mahmud Hussain, Ruhi Mabud Hassan, Hakim Syed Fazlur Rahman, etc. In addition, there is a separate skins and taxidermy collection. Displayed on the ground floor. Topic: <inaudible> Publication Division under Shif Al Mulk Memorial Committee. Periodicals One: Newsletter of Ibn Sina Academy, Nisa, a quarterly newsletter since 2001, 68 issues published. Two. International Journal of Medical Research Professionals IJMRP 3 International Archives of Biomedical and Clinical Research IABCR Books Academy has published a number of books on the history of medicine and sciences including pharmacology and literature Before the existence of Ibn Sina Academy publications were done under the aegis of Tibi Academy formed in 1963 the first book of the Tibi Academy was Dorjadid Aya Tib, Modern Times and Unani Medicine. From 1965 to 1970, a monthly Urdu journal, Al Hikmat, was published under the auspices of Tibi Academy. Under the Shif al Mulk Memorial Committee, many more publications came into existence and are known to the world of history of medicine. The Memorial Committee and Tibi Academy are now a part of the publication division of Ibn Sina Academy. Topic. AIDS cell AIDS cell of IAMMS was established in the year 2002 with Dr. Imran Sabri as the founder in charge of this prestigious institute. The main aim of the AIDS cell is to spread awareness about AIDS in common population and newly graduated doctors. AIDS cell of the academy is dedicated to improving lives, knowledge, and understanding worldwide through a highly diversified program of research, education, and services in HIV, AIDS screening and prevention, care and treatment, reproductive health and infectious diseases. AIDS cell is a partner member of Global Health Council USA and the AIDS Care Watch Campaign Thailand. It has a separate library of documents relevant to HIV, AIDS project management, research, and reproductive health issues apart from CD-ROMs, poster and books in several languages. 
AIDS cell of IAMMS claims responsibility of holding symposium on medico-social implication of the emerging epidemic of HIV, AIDS on India, free health checkup and drug distribution camp. <laughs> Ibn Sina Shifa Khana For clinical studies of indigenous drugs, IAMMS is engaged in research and development in its clinical setup, Ibn Sina Shifakana, at Okla Vihar, New Delhi. Topic Center for Safety and Rational Use of Indian Systems of Medicine The Academy took a novel task of improving the use of Indian-originated drugs and their adverse reaction monitoring under the establishment of Center for Safety and Rational Use of Indian Systems of Medicine CSRUISM in 2005. CSRUISM receives many adverse drug reactions of herbs, which were never reported earlier. These reactions for their causal relationships are assessed according to Naranjo algorithm and WHO causality categories. The center has organized many CMEs on pharmacovigilance in association with Society of Pharmacovigilance, India. <laughs> Galab Study Center This center was set up to study Urdu poetry particularly of Mirza Galab. The center has a largest collection on Galibiyat things related to poet Galib. It has several books and periodicals especially Galib numbers issued particularly as a part of his birth centenary observed all over the world in 1969. In addition, there are hundreds of other poets' collection, memoirs and writings. The center is famous for organizing Mushera until now has published two books on Mirza Galib. Topic. Annual events Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture, courtesy, National Council for Promotion of Urdu Languages, Department of Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India, Series of Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture First Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2006 by Saeed Hamid Delhi. Second Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2007 by Syed Musharal Hassan Delhi Third Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2008 by Syed Shahid Mehdi Delhi Fourth Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2009 by Irfan Habib Aligar Fifth Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2010 by Sadika Rahman Kidwai Delhi Sixth Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2011 by Dr. Ahmed Abdul Hai Patna. Seventh Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2012 by Musa Raza Villapuram, Tamil Nadu. Eighth Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2013 by Muhammad Zakaria Virk, Ontario, Canada. Ninth Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2015 by Dr. Maulana Kalbi Sadiq, Lucknow. 10th Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2016 by Dr. Atta Farauki Delhi 10th Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2016 by Dr. Atta Farauki Delhi 10th Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2016 by Dr. Atta Farauki Delhi 11th Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture 2017 by Dr. Naresh 1 Panchkula Haryana Professor M. Nasim Ansari Oration on World Health Day, the 7th of April, courtesy SEARO, WHO, New Delhi, series of Professor M. Nasim Ansari Oration. First lecture, 2007, by Dr. M. D. Tawheed Ahmed, Aligarh. Second lecture, 2008, by Dr. M. Habib Raza, Aligarh. Third lecture, 2009, by Dr. D. P. Singh Tor, Delhi. Fourth lecture, 2010, by Dr. Syed Badrul Hassan, Aligarh, Bhopal. Fifth lecture, 2011, by Professor M. Hanif Beg, Aligarh. Sixth lecture, 2012, by Dr. Syed Badrul Hassan, Aligarh, Bhopal. Seventh lecture, 2013, by Professor Arshad Hafiz Khan, Aligarh. Eighth lecture, 2014, by Professor. Saeed Azafar Chortai, Aligarh. Ninth lecture, 2015, by Professor Mod Zahir, Aligarh. Tenth lecture, 2016, by Professor 
Dipti Tripathi, former director, National Mission for Manuscripts, Delhi. Eleventh lecture, 2017, by Dr. Vandana Roy, Professor Director and Head, Department of Pharmacology, Maulana Azad Medical College, Delhi. Twelfth lecture, 2018, by Professor O. P. Kalra, Vice Chancellor, Pandit Bhagwat Dale Sharma University of Health Sciences, Rotak. Topic. See also. Collection of the Canon of Medicine Al Kanun Fi Al Tib by Ibn Sina. Galen's influence on Islamic medicine. Kitabila Aglukan Fi Shifa Al Amraz. Risala Al Nabi, dated 1745 AD. Imad Al Din Mahmud Ibn Masarid Shirazi. Hakim Syed Karim Hussain. Hakim Syed Zilior Rahman, President. Mehdi Mohahi, Vice President. S. M. Razuullah Ansari, General Secretary, Syed Ziyar Rahman, Treasurer, Dawakana Shifal Amraz. <laughs>